What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we're out on the creek yet again, surprise, surprise, for some crappie. Hopefully I get into some crappie. I'm getting so excited and having fun catching crappie this year. It's just been crazy catching them in, this is like four or five foot of water stained with jigs. I mean, getting right on top of them, there's nothing better than it. But anyways, we're gonna go see if we can catch some big old slabs off some brush piles, maybe some edges that are running up and down the bank. Maybe they're cruising. I have no idea what they're doing, but I know one thing, I'm ready to go catch some fish. Let's go. I can't believe it. I was just jigging this tree and I'd even turned the GoPro on. Our first keeper at 10 inches. I can't believe I just did that. Let's see if there's some more in these treetops. Dang, this is a good looking spot right here. There ought to be some right here. It is deep. Got one right there. Come here. Stop flapping everywhere. Yeah. Gotcha. That's two. Throw this out there. You never know. Let's make sure he is 10. 10 and a half. Nice. Let's go do that all over again. They're not really thumping it, they're just kind of like there. It's just kind of like boom. more I like to have about six foot of line on my spinning reel right there that way I can just enough to flip it in there most of this stuff is not six foot deep really so five foot is about perfect perfect depth for the uh, some of these so I, I don't know There's one. Got another one out of there. One paddle away. I don't know if that's a keeper or not. If it is, it's right at the edge. That might be 10 inches. Maybe. Oh my goodness. Hits the 10 inch mark. Barely, almost like 10 and an eighth. Well, it counts. Got one right there. Oh, that was a good one. Dang it. There's some crappie in this tree.
Got one out of there. I don't think that's a keeper though. I don't think that's a keeper. Let's see, just a look. Yep, nine inches. Got one right there. <laughs> that is so much fun. There are so many in there. There's a good one right there. Oh gosh, it's a real good one. What is going on with my line? Dang, what happened to my pole? The pole started feeling line. Oh, and he came off. What is my pole doing? Cool, that's a fatty. It's not as big as I thought it was, but I don't know what my pole is doing. I got line all over the GoPro, all over the fish, but that is definitely a keeper. Man, there's some serious branches down there. Oh, and I got it back. That is amazing. Let's go up here, see if we can get some more action. Oh, there was one in that treetop. That's not a treetop, that's just a little brush pile. Little guy. Dang, and you took it. Gotta get you out with pliers. Oh, there's one. Man, you took it deep, buddy. God, pliers again. I wasted a ton of time going up the creek. I really wish I wouldn't have gone up the creek because I noticed the bait fish weren't really popping up there and I wasted all that time. So we're back down here to the main section where it split, so we're still in the creek, just we didn't go, we came back down to where we kind of started from. So hopefully these fish are still up in here and still hungry. Yeah, the bait fish are starting to pop in this little section right here, so. Oh yeah, hopefully we're getting down here where the bait fish action is a lot better because I did not see anything popping top like that. It almost looks like it's back flowing the other direction. Back up the creek. Oh, there's a good one right there. That's a real good one. Oh my gosh. Come here. Come here. Yes, sir. Just a real good one. Now we need to get up out of this tree. <laughs> oh, I get so excited. Dang, you barely had that hook too. Oh, it's in there. I'm gonna have to get the pliers for you. Well, that's definitely a keeper. Let's sneak up here and do that again. Oh, there's another one right there. They're in there. Uh, 
We'll have to check this one. I think it's a keeper. Oh, yes, just barely. Just barely, keeper. Ah, stop your jumping. There's another one. They're down there in that brush top. I don't know if that one's gonna keep. They are definitely in that brush pile right there though. Let go of it, buddy. I don't think this one will keep. Yeah, nine and a half. Oh yeah, that one came up and nailed it, but that's not a keeper. Man, they are stacked in here. Jig it right above that brush pile. The top of this brush it's down there. Got him. Oh, that's another keeper. That's another keeper. Get over here. Yeah. Oh, get back here. I don't want to lose you. Yeah. They are in that brush. Man, this is crazy. I love it. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that's a 12-incher. Well, guys, it was on fire for a little while there. I should have never went up the creek. I should have just, I wasted so much time. We could have caught more fish out of brush piles like the one right behind me back here. And I love fishing that one brush pile that was down in the channel. It was so on fire with so many fish around it. I, know, I don't know what happened after a while, where they went to or whatnot, but I think I caught five in a row off that brush pile just I don't know, it's starting to sprinkle, and if you've ever heard the saying, the, they shut off like a light switch, that definitely applies right now. But here's what we caught. We got eight right here. We got one good one on there. It's like 14 inches, but I don't know. It was a good day. So we got some fish for a fish fry, and I don't know. It's just good getting out here and having a good time out here catching crappie in a creek. I mean, I love it, but... Thanks for watching you guys and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one.